What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, here for day number four of AAF Week. And today we're talking about the most important thing about the AAF, the truly important matters that everybody wants to talk about. We're talking about jerseys. And we're talking about which jerseys look the best and which ones look like trash. And again, this is my personal opinion. So if you have a different opinion, you can leave it in the comment section down below. But ladies and gentlemen, I am Tree from Tree Talks, and this is ranking all eight AAF jerseys from worst to best. Coming in at number eight, I have the Birmingham Iron. And I'm never going to be able to say that city's name. But um, it's really generic straight black and gray and a lot of people that have ranked uh, these jerseys because there's a ton of lists at least on the internet i don't know about youtube but on the internet that i've seen and they've had the iron pretty high i don't understand they, they say it's traditional look it's classic that's why it's high if i'm in a new football league i'm trying to make the most flamboyant ridiculous dope looking jerseys that i could make i ain't making it generic and gray in black that's straight boring and that's why the iron come in at number eight on this list coming in at number seven we have the memphis express some dark blue with some light red kind of looking like a knockoff of the new england patriots like if there's a video game and they were not nfl licensed and they're like hey let's make the patriots but let's not make it too obvious. They probably make it the Memphis Express's jerseys. Not to say that they're terrible, because no one really in this league has an awful jersey, but a lot of them really have killer ones. So uh, not to say the Express jersey is necessarily bad. I just think that it looks like a, a starter, because it is starter that uh, makes the jerseys, a starter version of the New England Patriots. If the helmet wasn't red, then it definitely... Uh, would look like that but definitely not that bad of a jersey it just kind of looks like a knockoff Patriots jersey coming in at number six we have the Salt Lake Stallions now the Stallions are the team I'm going to be primarily covering so you know that there's no bias here I don't have them ranked very high uh, a simple gray and blue which does look pretty clean but in my own personal experiences uh, with the Tennessee Titans it looks almost too much like a Titans jersey, but I can't get over that. It's definitely the most clean jersey out of anybody uh, in the league. It definitely matches everything the best out of any other jersey. Um, as we start going along the list, we're mostly looking at, you know, crazy jerseys that have really cool color patterns. But uh, the Stallions' whole uniform goes together well. Everybody that's kind of like in the lower tier of these jerseys, their uniforms probably go together the best, but their jerseys are straight a boring so um that's why the stallions are this low on the list because i think the gray is just a little bit boring and a lot of people also have the stallions like one or two on their list so uh, maybe we all have a difference of opinion but to me it just looks boring coming in at number five we have the commanders now the commanders is basically just straight red and they have two-tone helmets uh who else has two-tone helmets oh the jags did back in the day and not a lot of people like those so you know but the commanders are thinking they can pull it off so fuck it let them think that they're wearing two tones helmets and their jersey is just straight with straight red with the gray uh gray uh, line right there down the middle to go well with the pants with the red line on the pants man that's a clean look i don't even care they're not ranked very high on anybody else's list, but I think the red with the gray and the gray with the red and the, the red helmet, the two-tone helmet, I think it looks dope. Sue me. Commanders come in at number five. Coming in at number four, we have the Arizona Hot Shots. The Hot Shots jerseys look exactly like the Oregon Ducks jerseys. Um, but with that being said, I really never have a problem with Oregon's jerseys. The green and the yellow looks dope. Um, the yellow, the primarily yellow jersey with the yellow helmets, I think they made a good decision with that. Because usually teams that are green and yellow will go green pant, uh, green jersey, yellowish pants with, you know, not a lot of yellow. You know, it's mostly green with just yellow patches somewhere. But this is primarily yellow uh, with the green uh, pants and you know green in places with a yellow helmet. So I think as a whole, the Arizona Hotshots jerseys are unique. They're dope. 
and I really like the yellow that they did decide to use and the uh, the green numbers and the green pants really bring out the uh, the colors in this jersey for the Arizona Hotshots. Coming in at number three we have the San Diego Fleet with the gray and yellow jersey. Um, not a lot of people would pick yellow to go with gray and I think it looks really really well done. It's a more lighter color of the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers a little bit um, mixed with some Green Bay Packers. So the the main jersey like the gray looks more like a Steelers color but the yellow and the numbers uh, look to me more like of a Packers color but it's clean it's crisp everything goes together. Um, the fleet definitely come in as one of the better teams at least on paper and they also come in as one of the best jerseys on paper as well. And coming in at number two, we have the Orlando Apollos. The Apollos have dope, 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 cool jerseys. The helmets are awesome. The white with the blue numbers. You know, the mixture of white, blues, and orange that they have on this jersey, I think, are to perfection. You know, the orange neckband with the navy blue numbers here, with the white numbers on top, with the white... Uh, jersey with the blue with the orange outline numbers. I think that this jersey as a whole just looks completely clean and it's so close to being number one because I really like it a lot, but it's not quite number one. And my number one pick for the best jerseys are the Atlanta Legends, a team that's usually towards the top of the list and not number one. The grayish yellow with the purple a lot of people don't like that but i think it looks dope that dark yellow matches the purple perfectly um it's more of a goldish gray it's more of a gold than a yellow you know what i'm saying it looks good to me like the purple that matches the color that they picked is perfect and if you haven't learned anything about this video is that i don't know a lot about colors yeah <laughs> you know i'm not much of a fashion fashion guy as far as you know colors go i'm pretty generic with how i dress you know straight up shirt over sweatshirt with some jeans and this hat man i'm ready to go to work but you know i have an eye for what's dope and an eye for what's not dope and the atlanta legends in my opinion have the dopest jerseys heading into the inaugural season of the aaf and that was me breaking every single AAF team's jersey from worst to best. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, also at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling also oh generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Troop Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel five days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. That was just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.